Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And over the years, I've made several videos on how to produce a clock face, but I've never done it with the fit object to path, which I believe started in Corel 2018. So if you grab your object, I'm going to make, whenever a Corel says duplicates, that means copies. So you already got ones. You need 12, so you only need 11. I'm going to have a group the objects. And really, you don't have to do anything else but put it at the bottom, follow path, hold down the shift key and select your path, and then hit apply. That quickly, it put that on there. Now, we could put in the middle hand, same way, but this time we need 59. Same scenario, same, put it at the bottom so it actually goes to the bottom of the path. Uh, and, and the reason I group the objects, that, that way you can move them you know, off the page. So we're going to do the same thing with 59. We're going to hold down the shift key and select the path and hit apply. And in that short of time, it gave us, of course, there's a, a minute hand behind that other one. And that, you know, if you wanted to, you could, uh, that won't matter uh, when you're engraving, but you could move that out of the way and delete that uh, every other fifth one. But there's a quick way to use object to path. And there's a lot, you know, a lot more than you can do with it and just than making a clock face. Now, just real quickly, if you wanted to have it off the um, disk a little bit of your clock, all you'd have to do is uh, control D and make a duplicate of that. And let's make it 11.75 inches. And then I would realistically move this path out of the way and then just do this do the uh, 11 copies everything the same select your path and then hit apply and then you could actually delete your path and then put this back and then your clock hands or the tick marks are a little bit off the edge hope that helped a little bit and thank you for watching.